Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing 5PD 1.4.1. It's been a while since I've done a 5PD install, so I decided I will come back here so everybody is up to date on how you install this now. It has really changed since the last time we installed it on the channel. We'll just be going over the 5PD install. If you need to learn how to install a 5M server before you install this, I'll leave a link to that video down in the description. It will also be in the cards on the top right hand side of the screen. So, you can go there if you need that server setup part of it. But today we are going to be installing 5PD. If you didn't listen to the GTA Police Mods Town Hall the other day, they are working on a new version of 5PD. When that comes out, I will update this video if anything changes on the install. But um, if not, if it does, I'll make a new video. If not, I'll just add um, some change logs and stuff down in the comments when that releases. Anyway, let's go over how to install 5PD. Um, first of all, you're going to go to the GTA Police Mods website. You will make an account, and then it will go ahead and allow you to download the file. All the links to this resource are down in the description as well, so if you need to go to the site to make an account, I will leave a link to that. If you need to go ahead and download directly here, if you have an account, I'll give you a direct download link to this page, so you can come here. I do recommend reading over change logs, going over um, the important PDFs that are in the file. You'll see that when we actually download this file, and once you agree to the uh, terms of service and everything, when you download the latest version of 5PD, make sure you're not downloading an old version, by the way. But when you download the latest version, you open it up with a WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip, whatever you use to open up these files, you're going to have a lot of things that are actually the README and release notes. I really recommend reading the README because it goes over a lot of info on how to do this. It explains how to install it, how there's no official servers. There, um, It does not currently support one sync, but this is coming in the next version of um, 5PD. It does not, it can run wrong ESX, but it's, it's not integrated and they may not work together with it. So I do recommend you go over here to understand how to actually install it and set it all up because this is really important. And then you have all of the agreements, controls and gameplay info are in here as well. So I would recommend reviewing all that when you have time. Now you may notice it does come with a .sql file. This is not required. The default install does not use MySQL. You may if you want uh, more control over it, if you want to use like um, there, there's like a web interface a while I made a video ago on like call out stuff. If you want to use that, you're going to need SQL setup. I will not be going over the SQL setup in this video. We're just going to be installing the default 5PD. So all you have to do, just like any other resource, is go to the server data resources folder. There is no um, need to do anything special for this. You're going to drag in the 5PD folder to your resources folder. Make sure you don't rename the name or anything. It's easier to keep it all lowercase. And you can see in here, you got SQL light um, type of things. So this will go ahead and make it so you don't have to use that .sql file. Um, and you can still see in here, we are currently using SQLite um, because that will be um, what we're going to be using. It stores all the data locally. It's kind of like a flat file type of thing, if you think about it. And then you can configure all your settings for 5PD in here. Duty notifications, you want an allow list for who wants to be the cops, you want the Discord bot to be enabled. All of those are separate tutorials. You can go check those out in the 5PD playlist. In your plugins folder, it's going to be blanked because you don't have any community plugins. You can find those on the forums as well. Your loading screen and then all your config files are located in here. These are where you're going to go ahead and edit all of like your vehicles that you want in the menu and the vehicles that can be used for um, different uh, roles and everything if you need a rank type of available or a department type of available for vehicles. So you can configure all of this to your liking for your server if you want uh, supervisors to only be able to spawn one type of vehicle. You can set that up in the vehicles.json to use within the F11 menu. Um, so there's so many cool things. You got all the street names. So if you use custom street names or something, you can go ahead and change those so all the callouts and stuff can actually go alongside that. So great amount of customizability here. And then to go ahead and just get this started, you're going to go to your server.cfg file. You're going to edit it with notepad, notepad++. Plus plus. And then at the end of your resource list here, you're going to do ensure 5PD or start 5PD, depending on what you have in there. And make sure it just is the exact folder name as it was inside of your resources folder. If we start up our server, you are just going to see um, in console, as long as you see the 5PD messages start up and say everything's validated, everything's good, you know you are good to go. You can hop in game and you can check it out as long as you see the started resource and there's no red messages. If you get errors with red messages here, there's a chance maybe an antivirus or something modified one of those files or something you modified didn't work. So just go back, check over the documentation, look at the FAQ and they also have a support 
support forums where you can get support with this as well. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. So let's hop in game and check it out. All right, so we are in game and you can see in the top left hand corner, 5PD 1.4.1, we are currently off duty. We press F11, we have our duty menu and everything else. So we know it is installed correctly. Um, there you go, we have installed 5PD. It is that easy. The install's really been shortened um, since the original version. So hopefully this did help you install it and get it ready. Again, I will go over an updated video later on. So make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, considering only like 8% of you are actually subscribed. So it would be amazing if you could support us and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Trying to hit 10,000 subs before the end of the year. Please help us reach that goal. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.